With the first two parts of the base frame in place, I'm going to add the remaining parts. We need three more chassis rail 16 holes, so I'll place those in the assembly. And I like to move the parts close to where they're going to be assembled. The first part I'm going to assemble is on this side, where I applied one of these chassis rails in the previous video. So again, I like to rotate that part. Much easier to do, use the eye mates if they're pretty close to the position where they should be. I also like to zoom in real close. As you can see, there are lots of eye mates on these parts, so you want to eliminate the view of those eye mates. So dragging that into place, I know the location, the holes that it has to be, so again, holding down the Alt key, moving it into location, and release. So it clicks into place. Unfortunately, it kind of snaps the way you can see the other part, so I have to rotate it around, and then just drag it back into the location that I like. Now, sometimes it's easier to move the part away from where it currently is, so you can override the constraints using the Move tool. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Again, the Alt key, grab the eye mate, into position, and done. I'm going to repeat that workflow for the other two chassis rail 16 hole parts. The two other parts are now in place, so I can add the final and the sixth part of this base frame, which is a bumper 20 hole. I'm going to rotate that into the close location as to where it should be. And I know that this particular part should be four holes down from the end. So zooming in fairly closely, and using that eye mate holding on the Alt key, dragging into position, done. And at the other end, the same workflow. Counting down there to give me an approximate location. Keep in mind it won't snap into location unless it's the correct iMate, so that's another way of doing it. So select the iMate, drag it into place, that's incorrect, that one's correct. There we go. So with very few snaps using iMates, I've completed this six-part assembly.